Uh, so today we're going to go through just the general process of building a window, all the options and some of the, just, just, just try and get familiar with how you design the window, both from a customer design perspective, but also from a, a surveying perspective as well as to some of the options you've got. So go into the choose a product screen. Uh, let's go for the ultimate rose for the sake of this. Uh, so just type in the location of the window. And let's just select a single window to start with. So first of all, we've talked about previously uh, on different videos, the, the kind of default position as to what you get to start with, but the fundamentals, you've obviously got your size here, so uh, we can amend that size to whatever you need it to be. So let's go for a Georgian style, typical window here. So 1200 by 1800. Okay, so you start with the size. So there we go, let's, let's, let's done the window to that size. and. We've got the, the live pricing going there in the corner. So your first one you've got is your openers. So it's going to select as standard uh, for both sashes to slide. Uh, but you've got some other options between fixing the whole window or just having sort of half fix, half slide. But let's keep that on slide, slide to start with. Going over to the profile. Uh, now if you click anywhere on the window, it's going to come up with some options on this. So the frame and sash, no real options to change the profiles, they're, they're set on the ultimate, but you've got the staff bead here, which is a nice new feature on the ultimate three, so uh, we're going to include for, for that, uh, and the sash ones, we're going to leave it on the, the default position of the, of the run through, so if we apply all of these, and this button here is your inside view, you'll see that that's just put the staff bead on across the window like so. so Back onto the outside view, uh, you've got your finish. So again, the, the standard position that it comes on for the ultimate rows will be selected on the standard white wood grain, which is the RAL 9010, but let's choose the, the chalk, which is a new finish. Now it's called here the Ultimap, but, but chalk is the actual brand name, so we'll get that changed. So if we apply that to all, uh, so it's very subtle, kind of more spray painted looking foil. Uh, so we're gonna keep that as that. And um, now going back to the profile, just you've got some selections here. You don't see any drop down menus or anything like that. So it's kind of intuitive the way it works. You almost have to click in the area that uh, you want to see something, and, 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 and menus will come up. So if you click underneath near the sill, you'll see that it's coming up here now with sill options, which is great. So you've got the, the 50mm deep flush sill, 225 projecting, and then another, another flush option which just has a, a thinner face. But as we're kind of building a Georgian window here, we'll keep that with the, with the deep sill. So if we just close uh, that. So typically with a sash window, you might need some add-ons. Um, to, to bulk out the frame if you're taking out an original sash box or if you've got curved brickwork at the top you might want a, an infiller so, so again similarly to, to when we selected the sill you just have to click uh, around the window you see that it changes from a cursor to a hand that, that's going to be a good idea for you see if you just click here you'll see currently no add-ons um, but options as to whether you want to add now each of the models has their own particular selection of add-ons on the heritage and the, the ultimate is 20 and 36 so we can add a 36 here and we want it just to the head to cover that kind of slight arch of the brickwork so we do that and you'll see again it's sort of showing that on the image and that we've built that into the the price also so um, okay so that's moving across that we've done the finish glass Again, similar to what I've talked about before, you kind of click on what it is that you want to look at or change. So it comes up here with what the standard glazing would be, which is just going to be our standard A rating Argon soft coat uh, unit. And if you just click this button for view more units, you get a selection here uh, of different options where there's some icons here to help you understand what it is that these particular things do. So you've got certain acoustic ones, so certain solar ones. and uh, But for this one, we're just going to we're just going to select toughened um, to the bottom. So what we do here is just apply to selected. It gives you this graphic here. So we want that just for the bottom. So if you select like so, and then apply, and then done. So essentially, we've just got standard soft coat glazing at the top, and then the toughened glazing at the bottom. So for the glazing, um, you've got different options here as to what you want. Now, its default's always going to be the astral, that's certainly the most popular with a sash window, but you've got the option of internal Georgian or leaded there, but um, we'll leave that on the, on, on the astral. Now, you've got options here, you can auto grid, um, which will 
you know, based on the size, it will come up with what it will think will look best. But obviously, that's difficult to do because each property is going to be different. So you've got the draw button. Um, easier done, certainly, on a on an iPad than with a mouse. But you know, that gives me the ability to to, to draw in the bars. Now you can see that I've done a, a terrible job of that. So by clicking in here and just clicking on the dimensions here, I can equalize that. Uh, and you see, that's that's much better there. Um, just making it completely central so uh, and they just click done but to be honest with you I'm going to delete that because what I want to do is a Georgian style so again just by hitting the auto grid there let's put in uh, an 8 over 8 which is yeah a lot more in keeping with what we're trying to build here so uh, so there are your options on on that uh, hardware okay so the globe furniture slightly different ranges on the other two models but you know you've got your your graphic there of what to what to select so I'm going to go for the bronze it tends to be one of the most popular ones that we do so uh, so if we show the inside, you'll see there that we've got the bronze shark fins, bronze, bronze hardware, polarized sash lifts. Um, now, if I click on hardware again, um, again at the top, you've got your, your selection between the different ones. You can turn off these, you can delete sash lifts, delete polarize, or change different colors. You know, obviously with what we do, endless options, you can really uh, hammer that home with the customer and make it as bespoke as you want to. Now with ventilation, uh, this is very clever because this will understand given what model or, or what options you've chosen as to where trigger vents can go. So you'll see here because typically on the Ultimate or Heritage the trigger vent would just fit in the outer frame. But obviously because you've selected a 36mm add-on to the head, you, that you, we also have the ability to put the vent through that. So when you come to the screen you just get a very simple click box as to where you want to put the trickle vent. But we'll keep it in the frame like so. And you'll see there on the inside that it's showing underneath the add-on on the on the frame. So, okay. So moving past the hardware, go and see your extras. There's just a few that I want to go through here. So you just click on the extras, click on the window, and we can just talk through this. So, custom extras <coughs> doesn't have to be to do with the window. Uh, to be honest with you, it can be something to do with the installation. So whether it's um, a particular architraving, uh, window board, anything like that you want to add, you can simply type in what it is, any reference, how many of you them you want, and obviously the, the price as well. So I'm not going to include anything on that, but that's just for you. Um, diamond lead, not very common that we would have that on a sash window, but again, if you want to select that, it's going to, it's going to work out the cost and live price it for you. Uh, acoustic trickle rents, more of a commercial thing really. Uh, you get, you know, if you need to hit a certain decibel reduction on on the ventilation, you've got the choice of, of having that there. So, you know, you can select that. Uh, bay posts. So with the software, impossible to actually configure a a bay. Um, so what you would do in that is if you if you had a three part bay, five part bay, build the windows individually, uh, and then essentially as part of the quote, click on there. Um, choose how many bay posts that are involved. So if it's a three part bay, it's two. Uh, etc. So let's say that we are doing that. So, so we'll have two bay posts, and once you've done that, you also need to, to select the welded sill, uh, because obviously with that you're going to have the welded sill detail. So we can apply that. Um, going through the other options, fixing brackets, uh, particularly if it's new build. Um, so these are obviously just the cleats that click into the side of the window. Uh, if you select that, you're going to get six per window. So um, yeah, that's just for that. Uh, secure by design, pass 24, we can't really show that on a graphic, so this is just in this menu. Um, so SBD pass 24 would, would apply to part Q also, so again you can just click that. Um, and then with any of these you can add a particular note if you wanted to that will appear on uh, your own copies and the customer copies. And likewise with a, an arched or raked head we can do any manner of true arches, slight rakes, gothics, anything like that. So it's basically a shape charge. Um, so it's a default cost for us to, to use. So uh, if you do have that, you can select that. And again, likewise, make any kind, kind of note you want. Um, packaging, that's a default. Uh, and there's some various other charges, but it's a default. So if you apply all these, uh, what's good with the system as well, because these can't, some, some of these can't be shown as an actual graphic, it will show you on this page here, obviously what you've included for. So you'll see here that you've got essentially a bay allowed for with two posts and a welded sill. You've got your fixing brackets, your SPD pass 24, uh, and a rate head. And of course, because we're loading up the options here, you'll see that the cost reflects that somewhat. So, uh, so there we go. So that, that gives you an idea of, of the menu. This is obviously based on the ultimate rows, but the other, the other windows worked at the same principles. Uh, so yeah, very easy to use, very easy to pick up.